one experiment that we could do is um, we could we could try to build a simple circuit and try to measure this um, Kirchhoff's voltage law in this within this circuit. So let me find my camera program, which is here, and maybe I can. I, I yeah, I I brought a document camera, uh, but. Today, I don't know, for, no, for, for unknown reasons, it's not working on my computer. Um, so I'm, as usual, just using the backside camera of my computer, which is also quite convenient for this case. And I have a couple of um, devices here, and I also have a multimeter. So there's the multimeter. And I have a small board where I can connect all the components. And let's start with the 9 volt battery. And if we would be on Zoom, someone would be of you, if you have a laptop, would be able to write on my screen. But today it's unfortunately not working. Uh, but maybe you can, one of you can take some notes or you all can take some notes. So let's connect this battery at first and you know the old saying uh, red is black and plus is minus so if we connect this 9 volt battery properly you can see that from the 9 volt battery uh, we get something like 9.18 volts okay so then let's disconnect this battery then I have another uh, circular battery and I also have a battery holder for the circular battery where I will flip it in and connect this battery and you can see that this battery is not the newest anymore it should have uh, no but I think it's some accumulator so the typical voltage there should be 1.2 volts it's just 1.18 but I think it's still quite okay uh, but this one I should maybe recharge um, okay and so now my idea is that I connect both batteries in series but I will use this battery the opposite way And then I maybe need some other connector to um, do I have one? Yes. Um, to, to, to build some kind of short circuit or maybe you just use a cable. Okay, so if I have a cable, if I connect the cable here and I connect the cable there, so now what, what would you calculate? What should be the total voltage out of these two batteries? Pretty close to 8 volts. Pretty close to 8 volts because we had 9.18 minus 1.18. <laughs> so something close to 8 volts. So let's measure again. Connect one terminal here and the other terminal over there. And as you can see, pretty close to 8 volts. So totally makes sense, 7.99 volts. Okay, so now I can um, take these two um, uh, light emitting diodes in series. And here's always the question how to connect them. I mean, we can check it in a second. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the diet has two legs and one leg is a little bit shorter and the German word for short is Kurz and the German word for cathode is Kathode so this is always but I can remember that the shorter leg is the the das kurze Bein is the one of the cathode of the Kathode and also if you look at the top it's always difficult to see because the camera will not really 
focus to such short distances, will it? Yeah, maybe. So you can see that from the top, it's not perfectly round. Um, there is some, um, yeah, there, there is some, some edge on one side. Um, in German, Kante. <laughs> and so the Kante and the Kurzebein is the one from the Kathode. Um, and the cathode is the minus pole. I would guess. Um, so current should flow from the anode to the cathode. We can try it out if this works, if we have a positive voltage exactly. Yeah? So then the diet will light up. And so these are not arbitrary diets. Um, these diets are special diets because if you would usually connect the diet to a nine volt battery like this, what should happen? It burns because um, the diet only needs 1.8, 2. Point something volts to operate, and every current, uh, every voltage that you have more will draw, uh, will, will um, force a very high current through the diode, and the diode will light up once very shortly, and then it will be it will be go gone. And so these uh, diodes are, let's say, childproof uh, <laughs> diodes. Uh, they have some resistor built in, so you don't need the resistor to. Um, limit the current and so now if I connect these two diodes in series um, then both of these diodes will somehow light up and so now I can with my uh, measurement device here also try to measure the voltage drop across each of these diodes but at first I need to uh, bring the cables here in the proper position so if I do it for the yellow diet I get is it uh, difficult to see my arm is too so it's 7.016 volts on the yellow diet and it's three point I must be Checked it. I do not do a short circuit, and it's 3.893 volts on the other diet. And so, if we would take the sum of these two voltages, what should we get? We should we should get the, the same voltage again that we had from both of these batteries, but now the voltage is got a little smaller. Um, because we draw some current out of the batteries, so there will be a voltage drop across the inner resistance of these batteries. There will be also a voltage drop um, at, at yeah, some of the cables that should be negligible with the small currents. I would say my, my battery is probably too old. I should recharge this one or this is, um, but yeah, at the moment, um, this, yeah, what happens with this battery it is it, it should be recharged, right? Because there's current going in the um, in the opposite direction, or current and voltage at this battery are pointing in the very same direction. So there's positive power going into the second battery over there.